Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting one. It is a collaboration with five beautiful girls. Um, we are doing the final episode of Pretty Little Liars, the finale. If you guys watch it, give this video a thumbs up. I love Pretty Little Liars. And today I am doing a collaboration with these ladies. And today I'm doing Spencer Hastings look, which was very, very easy to achieve. So I hope you guys enjoy. So today I'm starting off with a primer. This one is by L'Oreal. It's the Magic Blur Primer. And and I noticed that Spencer had really matte skin and there really wasn't a lot going on. I've noticed that quite a lot during the whole entire seasons that her makeup isn't really that adventurous. So this easy, this look was very easy to recreate. So after the skin is primed, I'm then going in with a very lightweight foundation and this one is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. And you can use whatever foundation you like just as long as it is a little bit lighter coverage. I find that when I look at photos of Spencer in the final episode and pretty much throughout the season her skin kind of pokes through still a little bit it doesn't look like she's wearing anything too heavy so this is definitely one of my go-to favorite foundation it's really lightweight but you can definitely build it up to a medium to full coverage foundation it's a really really nice one and if you guys are in the market for a new foundation definitely give this one a go because it is lovely then moving on to concealer. Now I noticed again since that Spencer's makeup isn't too heavy I didn't want to go in with a super full coverage concealer. Um, so today I'm using the Flawless Concealer by Barry M and again you can go you guys can use whatever you like. This is just what I had on hand that is quite lightweight. Um, so if you can get your hands on this it is a really really nice concealer. It's just very lightweight and there's not a whole lot of coverage there. So I'm just putting that underneath my eyes dabbing it out with a Real Techniques sponge and then I'm also putting it into the high points of my face as well um, since that you know Spencer didn't really have a lot of highlight going on but I honestly like I really can't live without my highlights so I'm just gonna add a couple of little twists of my own in this tutorial but you guys do um, whatever you guys want with this makeup look I'm just here as a guide so just blend that out with that sponge again and then set that under eye makeup with the Rimmel stay matte powder in the color translucent and um, this is just going to set the under eyes really really well and like I said Spencer had really matte skin so I'm actually just going to dust this pretty much all over the face um, just to mattify the areas uh, that I need to be mattified just around the t-zone mainly and I just did a really really light layer on the cheeks and also on my eyes to set that as well so once that's done, I'm then going to be using a bronzer. This one is the NYC Sunny Bronzer. It is a matte bronzer that is quite light. And I noticed that there wasn't a lot of blush going on in this look. So I am going to use a bit of bronzer to slim down my face because Spencer's face is a heck of a lot slimmer than mine. There I go, picking my nose. <laughs> um, just do that along the way. Then I'm just going to put that all on my hairline and also on my temples and also down the sides of my nose just to slim that down because like I said, Spencer's face is so much slimmer than mine so I'm going to do the best I can and slim all of my face down as well and just some highlighter as well like I said she has matte skin but I can't do the matte skin thing so a little bit of highlighter is not going to kill us so just put that on the tops of the cheekbones and pretty much all down the center of the face like you guys will see and there is a dance break coming up in just a second I don't fuck with you you little stupid ass bitch I ain't fucking with you you look, you look dumb ass bitch, I ain't fucking with you. Now that I got that little dance break out of my system, I'm just going to continue highlighting all down the center of my face like I said I was going to. And then I'm actually going to show you guys the brows today, which is super exciting because I always skip out on them. So using two products by L'Oreal, the Brow Artist Kit, I'm using the blonde color and today I'm using the powder. I usually use the wax on the opposite side because it is bloody amazing. But today I am using the powder because I noticed that Spencer's brows really are not defined that much and it really killed me to fill in my eyebrows like this but that's okay we're gonna do what we do and I'm just going to outline them and then fill them in with the powder and then I also like to comb them through uh, with the brow gel just to set those bad boys in place so they don't move all day and these are my two favorite brow products at the moment it is amazing and then going straight onto the eyes because we use concealer and all that on our eyelids as well as uh, foundation and set it that can work as our primer and 
And today I'm using the Bare Palette by Sigma and I'm using this color Act, which is kind of like a taupey color. And it's just really, really nice as a very subtle transition shade. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it, but you really can't see much transfer when it's on the eye. And then going in with this matte gray color called Snoop. And I'm gonna put this again on that same fluffy brush and I'm going to work that into the crease area over that taupe color and just work it back and forth, back and forth, windscreen wiper motions as we do. And I just like to blend that out quite well because there was a lot of smokiness going on with not a whole lot of product, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm just taking this end color, I believe it was called Approach, I'm pretty sure. It's a shimmery kind of whitish color. I'm just using that as a inner corner highlight as well as a brow bone highlight. Just tapping that inner corner because I went a little ham on the inner corner highlight. Tapping that out just to make it look a little bit less bright and then going in with a black eyeliner you can use whatever one you like this one's by essence is the i love smoky eyeliner um, just use something that is uh easy to blend out and this one is super creamy so it did the job really really well so i'm just lining my top lash line at first and then i'm blending that out i noticed that this pencil brush had a little bit of shimmer on it so try to avoid that situation because there was no shimmer on the lids whatsoever but i also put that on the lower lash line and you can see i am blending that out and it's going to be nice and smoky and then i'm also going back into that palette using the color snoop again which is that gray color obviously and then I'm going to smoke that liner out as well just to make it look a little bit uh, smoky on the bottom lash line which is what we want and I also noticed that she wasn't wearing fake eyelashes or at least I couldn't see that she was so I just want a little ham on the mascara you know just do what you're going to do if you want to wear false eyelashes then go for it but um, I just use my mascara just use something that is quite lengthening and slightly volumizing this one is by Maybelline it is the sensation la sensational lash I believe it's called it is amazing this is the best mascara I absolutely love it but you do what you do and use your favorite mascara or put on falsies it's totally up to you guys so you can see a lot of length not a lot of volume but it does the job now I'm moving on to a lip combo that I am quite enjoying right now so I'm going to start off with the first step which is lining my lips with the Savvy by DB lip liner in the color natural um, everything that I'm using by the way is always in the description box so you guys can always recreate this look and use the exact same products as me if you like so just overlining my top lip and just lining my bottom lip and then going in with the second step which is a really nice matte lipstick or lip pencil uh, this one's by elf and it is the matte lipstick in the color natural I believe again names will be in the description this is such a pretty color it's a really nice mauvey kind of color super pretty but I noticed that there was a little bit of pink on the middle of her lips so just using a essence lipstick I can't remember the name again in the description down below just popping that in the center of my lips for a little bit more of a pouty look but that guys completes this makeup tutorial let me know what you think in the comments down below make sure to check out all of those girls channels as well they will all be linked in the description box as well as their Instagram names again thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video Bye guys!